while shadowy figures have been reported throughout different cultures and folklores, the term the hat man picked up popularity in recent years. First being coined by Heidi Hollis, an author and researcher who wrote about her experiences with shadowy beings, including a figure in which she calls the hat man. Since then, many people have come forward with similar experiences, stating similar accounts of this shadowy being that wears a hat. <laughs> known Swiss psychoanalyst and psychiatrist Carl Jung did point out shadow figures. While he didn't specifically mention the hat man, he did make it part of his work to go over and describe what these shadowy beings are. Now according to him, shadow beings are actually shadow aspects represented in the unconscious and repressed aspects of an individual's personality. That is comprised of traits, emotions, and desires that are deemed as unacceptable or incompatible with one's conscious self-image. These shadow aspects often manifest in dreams, visions, and encounters with archetypal figures. So the real question is, is the hat man real? Is it our a figment of imagination? Was Carl Jung right? Or is it an actual entity? And if so, what kind of entity is it? As a psychic medium, it is my duty to shed light on the dark aspects of this world and the things that dwell in it. Basically, I've asked my guides to give me some information on this so-called hat man. And I will say, I have not physically experienced the hat man myself, but I do know of other people who have. So the thing is, my guides gave me a lot of answers when it comes to this because actually it's a multitude of entities. And I'm going to break it down for y'all. So the first one, it is my firm belief that Heidi Hollis's experience was that of an earthbound spirit. So the thing is, depending on where you are in your awakening level or if you're a psychic medium or what have you, sometimes spirits can come across as dark shadowy figures in silhouettes and whatnot. That's just how it is. It depends on how advanced your, you know, your third eye is, like what's, if it's blocked. There's so many variables that, you know, take place. But so in Haiti Hollis's experience, what she faced specifically was an earthbound spirit and it put her in a sleep paralysis state to feed off her, her energy. That's what some negative entities do. They will put people into a sleep paralysis state to drain them of their energy. And if you're someone looking to find ways to stop sleep paralysis, I made a video about it, about the tips you can use to try to stop it. So I highly recommend watching that. But anyway, now because her story gained popularity, it kind of started a chain reaction of events. I talk about thought forms all the time. Because other people got wind of it, and you know, they're visualizing it, some fears building up, and just a whole lot of energy is, put, is being put into the thought of this entity, which does what? It creates it. It manifests it. So not only do you have earthbound spirits that can look like, you know, the hat man. I mean, if it's an earthbound spirit and it's wearing a hat, again, a lot of energy is being put into that idea. It's kind of like the whole thing with Slenderman. Slenderman did not exist until somebody came up with him. And so now you have two different reasons as to how the hat man exists. 
Well, there's many different versions of the hat man. Now, because it's kind of like a viral thing that everybody knows about and everyone gets freaked out about, now you have other entities pretending to be the hat man to freak people out to, again, drain them of their energy and or oppress them for whatever other nefarious reasons they have, such as, like, possession, draining for funsies, you name it. Then you have watchers. Watchers can be any type of being, really, and essentially they keep an eye on the victim or the target, whatever you want to name them, and they are either keeping tabs on them for another being or a demonic entity or what have you. There are many reasons why you could have a watcher in your space. And then, then, there is a separate entity that is called shadow people and it's its own race of entity. So it's not an earthbound spirit. It's not a thought form. It's not a demon. It's its own thing. It's very almost like extraterrestrial like in how it operates. And to be honest, all I know is that they exist and then after that, I don't know too much about them quite yet. That is one thing I do want to learn. But I do know there are separate beings. But essentially, you know, the hat man isn't just one entity. It's a bunch of different kinds. Hopefully that cleared that up. I know it's kind of like all over the place here, but as far as I know and what my guides told me, that is what the hat man is. But with that being said, I hope that answered some of your questions. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and peace out. Spear fingers. If you like this type of video, don't forget to subscribe and watch the video I did on mermaids to see if they're real or not.